Come here. The hit that he yoked did to me was not a crit. And he took about 120 damage. I mean, he uh, dealt about 120 damage. That's. They just have a lot of health. Uh, I mean, uh, strength. Amazing, amazing strength from the Yorks. Oh, sure, get this. Now, are these fellas here gonna um, join me inside the temple? Because if they did, that would be actually pretty nice. I would be happy with it. If not, it's not a big deal. Oh, wait. Oh, okay. <laughs> wait, I only saw two of them here. But no, he's just uncomfortably close there. Oh. Enough already! Are you trying to depopulate the whole island? We're headed back to the camp. So no, this is not part of a canyon, so they don't want to join me. Okay, that's fine. I guess we can go kill the remaining three uh, razors. It's not a big deal. We only need three and a half thousand experience points to level up. Uh, yeah. And you know what? I think I'm actually gonna... After getting 64 strength base, I'm, I think I'm actually gonna go and... Uh, learn my two-handed to 75%. And then I'm gonna learn the language of the builders. How much... How much is that gonna be? This gives me five, yeah? Yeah. So, I have 64. And I need 11%. I need 33 points. So I would need at least four level ups, unfortunately. You with me? Good. Come here, you filthy animal. He actually sucks fighting against razors with allies because with targeting actually can target your own allies your own guys so uh it's difficult to properly target unless we like lock on with uh lock on a specific one there's still two razors though where are they oh i know they could be that way It could be that way. But yeah, we are really one alive here. Having these guys help us deal with all of those orcs. Because I wouldn't be able to do it by myself yet. And it would be difficult because of a true shaman. And it would take a long time. But thanks to them, we did it very quickly. I think they have to be, like, somewhere here. Yeah, there's a razor. Oh, well, there's one. There's two. Another one of those things. Oh, uh, you see, that's, that's what happens. I made a stupid mistake and I hit my own guy. Another one of those things. One less monster around. Very nice. So now we can go back to Greg. 
Because we did what we were supposed to do. It did say zero, didn't it? I think it did. I guess I can go inside the temple when I'm by myself. Question mark. The flaming monster there, it's actually not... Nothing that horrible. It's basically a, a shadow beast, but an undead flaming shadow beast. So it's gonna have the same AI, which means if we, if we somehow manage to corner it... So it's back is against the wall. Then, uh, then we're most likely not going to have a lot of problems killing it. We'll see. Well, I am going to be able to use the Paladin to hand, hand that, but... Uh... The Typhoon is actually slightly stronger because it gives me 5 points to handed skill. Oi, Greg! I did what I was supposed to do. I also killed all of the orcs down in the, uh, in the canyon. About that canyon? Yeah, what about it? I killed all the razors. Good. You seem to be a useful fellow. I need that bandit's armor. Hey, you're quite something. Bones was supposed to wear that armor and spy on the bandits. But maybe you're the better man for the job. Of course I am. Perhaps you even stand a chance of coming out of there alive. Talk to Bones and let him give you the armor. Then put it on and go to the bandits' camp. I need to know why those scumbags came to our valley in the first place. Aye, aye, Captain. There's one more thing I'd like to know. And that is? What do you know about Raven? He used to be an ore baron, far as I know, uh -huh. quite a big shot in the colony. I haven't a clue why he's here now and why people are following him, but he's certainly up to something. He's not the kind who would hide out in a swamp. Uh-huh. Where's your ship? Where's your ship? This is just my luck. For months, no ships have sailed between here and the mainland. Uh -huh. For months. And the first ship I run into happens to be a fully manned warship belonging to the king. Oh. Full of paladins, from her keel to the top of her mast. Oh. That's what I call bad luck. You can say that again. They thank us right away. I'm the only one who made it to the shore. Well, at least you're one lucky guy. How did you get here? I found a tunnel near the old pyramid guarded by a few mages. I simply sneaked past those blind worms. First, I took it for an ancient burial chamber and decided to check out what I could find there. Imagine my surprise when I suddenly found myself in my beloved valley. Just when I thought I'd have to spend the rest of my life running away from the militia. Okay. Very nice. Um. Yeah, he's a little bit stoked. That's fine. Uh, let us sleep until morning. That's not a that's not a big problem. You've slept and feel well rested. Bones! Come here. You're supposed to give me the bandit's armor. Orders from Greg. From Greg? Whew. I already thought I'd have to go after all. This spy job in the bandits' camp is nothing short of a suicide mission. Uh -huh. I'd rather have Greg keep his chores on me than get myself killed by those bandits. The armor? Oh yeah, right. <laughs> Here it is. Just be careful. Those bandits are a bad lot. Medium bandits armor. Is it better than what I have? 
it's not. Which is a shame. But we are going to be able to get better still. I know we're going to be able to get a heavy uh, bandit's armor, which is basically the armor of the uh, heavy guard armor from Gothic 1. And there's going to be one more, I think. Which is also a shame, because it's a bandit armor, but it's uh, really good. And we won't be able to use it later in the in Corinus and the Valley of Mines, because uh, we're going to be considered bandits. But just the spider's armor is pretty nice. Only weapon and projectile defenses, no fire or magic, but it's fine. That's uh, okay-ish. I do want to go inside the uh, inside the temple first, though, because there's no reason not to. As long as we fight one enemy at a time, we should be able to do everything that we uh, can. So it's not a big problem. Now let's see. Uh, if I wanted to learn more healing recipes. I would have to spend 8 more points. Because I would have to learn the essence and the healing extract. But having the extracts would allow me to learn the... Uh, what was it? The pure life energy. Have I been to the passageway that links the desert and the swamp? You mean here? No, I only, I only went as far as I needed to kill with two razors. Is there anything, uh, like, cool there? Oh, you didn't think you've, you've ever went there? Yeah, there's not, not really much reason to go there, because... At the time, we already are unlocking the teleporters and most of the time you don't really need to get here except to go here to this temple so there's really not much reason to uh to actually use this passageway and then again if you if i went there even with the bandit armor i think they still have guards there somewhere so they could be upset if i started going from here maybe i don't know Yeah, as long as he's alone there, we're gonna be fine. Okay, that's not good. He's moving to the sides quite a bit. He's moving to the sides quite a bit, so it's difficult to actually uh, pinpoint him. Very good. 
Uh, I was actually really lucky here. Because he, uh, he does have those quick attacks. Same as a Shadow Beast. We did well, though. Okay. Right, right, left. You forgot about the fire that everyone wants to go? Okay. Right, right, left, right, left, right. Left, right, left, right, left. Okay. Okay, that wasn't worth it. I'm not gonna break a lock back over this. Oh, this is open. Stone Tablet of Life Energy. Stone Tablet of Strength. That's pretty nice. So, even just this one, this first room that we get here... ...is it, pretty, pretty, uh, lucrative. They could have called it... ...a Fire Beast. Like a Shadow Beast and Crack. <laughs> um, I mean... Yeah, kind of. I would really like to be able to use this weapon. Like, I feel like having those 30 points more of damage would be uh, a substantial increase, because this would do 210 damage. Right now we're doing uh, 130, uh, 144. So yeah, being able to use this and using this is a 50% increase in damage. That's pretty nice. <laughs> nope, we just closed the door. You don't encounter a uh, level 30 green goblin, for example. Yeah. That's, that is something that's actually really good with uh, with Gothic. That it doesn't have... It doesn't have... A, what, what was it? Like, level, leveling lists for enemies that you encounter. And it allows for a few things. One, it allows for you to be... No, it, it makes it easier for the developer to think, okay, if the player does everything possible, then he's going to be at about this power level. Level scaling. I forgot the word. Level scaling. It's annoying in other games? It depends. Because it has to be made well. It has to be done well. Because otherwise, it's very annoying. Like in Oblivion or in Skyrim, it's annoying because you find you find bandits that have Daedric armor, and they want fifty gold pieces from you, which is dumb. It's made a little bit better in uh, game. I think Final Fantasy VIII actually used level scaling. So if you were a higher level, the enemies you encounter had their stats increased, but you didn't meet different enemies. Recent Assassin's Creed games are definitely not doing well. Level 1 soldier and level 50 soldier look identical. But do you meet them like, oh, this area is a low level area, this level area is a higher level area, or is it just, if you're higher level, you meet higher level enemies? In, in place of weaker enemies. Okay, let's put away the torch, because we have a fire beast there.
Okay, this is not good. Areas have levels. So it's it's okay. Because you know that in a specific area, you're going to have to s expect a specific level of enemies. So it's not as bad as it could be. Come here. Okay, that was that was a hit I didn't have to take. Okay, the enemy bugged out, but that's actually very convenient for me, because he doesn't seem to want to attack me. Oh, it feels arbitrary. Yeah, but it's better than... it's better to give you like, oh, this area is this level, this area is this level. To have some kind of progression. And to kind of, even if it's like an open world game, it gives you the, uh, so it, it, it gives the developer kind of an idea which way the player is going to progress. I'm, I'm not against it. I feel like, uh, oh, hey. I feel like it's better than having uh, an open world that that's just kind of annoying and without any guidance. Okay, a Yellowstone tablet, very nice. Now we would be able to use these lecterns to. Uh... I can't read that. Yeah, we we would be able to use them to learn. And I think get experience points, but because we don't know the language, we can get the experience points, which is fine. Because we're gonna get them later. Well, I'm I'm just gonna have to remember to get back here. Okay, archery. So let's see, I got the uh, yellow stone tablet, I got the archery stone tablet, the health, the two, uh, the strengths. Okay, take her to torch, because uh, I may be missing something if I don't see stuff. Isn't there like a switch here somewhere? Let's pick up a torch and put it away. Where is it? It kind of sucks that the uh, inventory is strange. Like, I understand the way weapons are sorted, just from the strongest damage to the weakest damage with melee, and then the same with, uh, with uh, ranged combat. Crossbow. No. Okay, there's no. It doesn't sort bows and crossbows separately. 
And then I understand that it's potions like specific potion would help, and then mana, and then permanent potion. But like foods, herbs, or like miscellaneous items. I don't have, I have no idea why they're sorted the way they are. Yeah, I'll see you. I know you see me, at least. It's annoying not to crit these guys, because they don't do a lot of damage per hit. Oh, son of a bitch. He's there and the, the fire beast, the fire demon is also there. At least... At least those guys are very aggressive. animal. Now we are doing minimum damage, but it's okay. Oh hey, that's a... I think that's a permanent potion there. Yeah, that was... No, that was a speed potion. That's a shame. Healing herb, lectern. Let's see, gold. Crossbow, very nice. Wait, did I pick it up? Okay... Take out the torch. It would be nice if we had a quick bar though. Like in Gothic 3. Like we can, we can complain about Gothic 3 as much as we want, but having a quick bar to be to like quickly take out a torch or uh, change weapons is was really convenient. Come here. Ah, there's a magical ring. Now let's see. We have Gothic Three is interesting. Yeah. It could have been a lot better, but it's not as bad as it could be, also. It's... it's like a decent game. I still it's six and a half, I think. Let's see. We have one dexterity bonus, one weapon protection, two fire protection, two arrow protection, and a... thing there. That was a mana bonus. Kind of a weak ring, to be honest. A casket, a gold dish, and three stone tablets. Okay, 